think it's safe to say that I'm enjoying this a little, a little too much. I know you're here to get the tea on this look, the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. For Spooktober, we decided to do Seven Days of Halloween on our YouTube channel, on our channel, Pond Pond Sisters, where we'll be featuring seven days worth of Halloween related videos and tutorials. So this was really, really fun. I really did enjoy creating this look. It was just nice to just play around with colors rather than doing the usual, just regular makeup. So this was kind of like, it was fun. I really, I really just had fun with this. I try not to like overthink the look. I just really just sat down and just started playing and playing in all the colors that I don't usually play around with throughout the year. If you have not seen the tutorial of me trying to create this wig, it was a total fail. Just don't even, don't even bother. But in case you want to see how horribly wrong and what not to do when creating a lace frontal wig, the link will be down below in the description bar for you guys to click on and you can check out how horribly wrong this wig turned out. We're gonna jump right into the makeup because that was pretty much all I had to really do for this look. I start off going in with some got to be glue and I just went in with a spoolie brush and kind of spiked my eyebrows up. I wanted them to look kind of wild and crazy. Even though I'm going over with the orange, I still wanted to have that like bushy effect on my eyebrows. So I still put down my regular foundation, my concealer and my um, contour. I don't I don't use actual fan foundation for this look. I just use a concealer and a contour. Now for my concealer where I highlight everything, I went like a shade lighter and that's just so I can have that nice pale look. I want it to look, you know, somewhat spooky looking and I felt like having a lighter highlight would have definitely helped out. So I went like a shade or two lighter than my usual concealer and I applied that in my usual areas to highlight my face. There wasn't a whole lot of people of color creating this look. So I felt a little uneasy going into trying to create this look. Um, so I decided instead of uh, going through, you know, Mad Hatter tutorials, I looked up like clown looks on uh, women of color, black girls. Um, and I saw that a lot of them kind of like ditched doing like the white pasty face look. <laughs> look i'm sorry that came out offensive but a lot of them avoided using the white makeup white powder and all that and just went with their you know skin tone and just kind of played with colors and i really liked how creative those girls did their clown looks without having to do a whole white face i was really racking my brain on how i was going to do this look without having to result in using any kind of weight makeup because most people who do a mad hatter look of course paint their entire face white and, and then I go in with my crayon and I just go in doing the upward method to apply the orange onto my eyebrow. After I do that, which was pretty much my base, I then go in with a orange eyeshadow to kind of add a little bit more depth to the eyebrow. I wanted my eyebrows to definitely pop. I didn't want them to blend too much into my face. I do kind of have a orange reddish undertone. I even go in with a darker orange that was kind of more on the red side, like a brick color. And I go in right on the ends just to get that nice defined like eyebrow. Like even though I wanted that wolfy look, I still wanted my eyebrows to still look defined. I don't go with an in with any concealer to clean it up. That was pretty much all that I did for my eyebrows. And then we're gonna jump right into doing the eyeshadow, which was the most fun part. Looking at photos of Johnny Depp for the Mad Hatter and other people who have created the Mad Hatter look, I saw that a lot of people just kind of went crazy with the colors. You, you had blues, you had purples, you had pinks, you had oranges, reds, pretty much any and everything. So I first started off going in with my nice teal blue out of one of my eyeshadow palettes. And I packed that color in, go in with a clean eyeshadow brush and just clean it up, blend it out. Out so that it blends up into the brow bone and then for my waterline I decided to go with the purple on this side 
and I had this nice shimmery purple in one of my eyeshadow palettes that worked perfectly. I just took a small brush to kind of pack that in there, then went in with a clean eyeshadow brush and just kind of smoked it out just a little bit. Um, on the other side, pretty much the same thing for my lid. I go in with a nice, pretty pink. The pink wasn't popping just as much as I wanted it to, so I did go back over it with a more reddish pink just to kind of, because I felt like the blue was really like overcompensating for the pink side. I felt like my pink side wasn't really popping the way I wanted it to. And then for my waterline, I go in with a orange. I first start out with a pretty light orange and then I go in with a burnt orange and that really, really made the look come out. I then go in with a, uh, another makeup crown from uh, the pack of uh, Halloween makeup crayons I purchased from Walmart. I go in with the color white just for my waterline and I just trace out my water lines just to give that wide eye effect. Now it's time to finish up the rest of our face. I go in with my white face powder, another Halloween makeup kit that I purchased from Walmart that was like two, three dollars. And I just pretty much where I would apply my setting powder during a regular makeup tutorial, I pretty much apply that to where I highlighted and concealed um, using my concealer. Go in with my contour, my regular contour stick, and that's just to kind of put down a base for where I'm going to apply the contour to make the spooky look. Now I was, I originally started out using a pink like blush as my contour for this look. I saw a lot of people um, for the Mad Hatter, they had like this sharp pink contour going across their cheeks and as well as down their nose. The pink just wasn't really giving it to So me. I eventually went in with a dark brown, like a regular contour for me that I would use in, on any other given day. And I decided to kind of go in and kind of deepen where I did apply the pink blush for my contour. I deepened it more with a regular contour. And be really really heavy on my blush um, I'm not really too uh, keen or too crazy on applying a crazy amount of blush but I did see that blush and contour was in the eyeshadows like the biggest things for this look had this nice pretty pretty pink lipstick that I have never really worn. Line my lip, light lips with a nice brown. It's just out of habit. I just have to line my lips with the eye, lip liner. And then I go in with the pink, blend it in, and try to give that nice pout on my lip. And then I also applied some highlight in my usual places. I went in with a nice pretty pink and I applied it on my chin, the tip of my nose, and as well as the tops of my um, cheekbones. and that was it that was literally it I applied my lashes and my contacts 
very, very, very last. I applied my contacts very last because I cannot see when I put these suckers in. I bought this cute little hat from Walmart as well that was like $5. This is a hair scarf and I just tied it into a nice juicy big clown bow. Try to go in with a eyeliner or whatever, some kind of black liner to do like the gap. That just ended with me eating eyeliner. So I ditched that and just like, you know what? Matt Hatter has perfect teeth for this look. I still really like the way this turned out. Like the colors are fun. The eyeshadow looks fun. My hair looks a mess. Well, that is it for today's video of for our seven days of Halloween Spooktober event. We will see y'all tomorrow again for another tutorial Halloween video on our channel. Please do not forget to subscribe if you are new to our channel. Hit that like button if you loved this look and want to come back and see more. We'll see y'all on our next video.